YouTube family, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac. Today we're gonna do with some queso chili foot long hot dogs. As you can see, we got some foot long buns along with some foot long hot dogs, and we got some bacon. Along with that, we got some of this here white queso in the jar. Yes, sir. And then we got some of this here jalapeno peppers. We're gonna make it spicy, y'all. Then we got some parsley flakes along with some of this Spain spices taco seasoning. Mm, you got to get this here taco seasoning and we got one tablespoon of butter then we got some potato tots and we got some of this here fiesta blend cheese come on y'all so i got some aluminum foil spread it out on the sheet pan and i'm spreading out these here tater tots make sure you you spray something on that um, aluminum foil so your tater tots won't stick and then we're going to toss them in the oven until they get nice and toasty okay now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to take our bacon i'm using the air fryer because because the air fryer works best for me. I want to get these um, bacon so crispy and I can get some nice size bits and pieces out of this here. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I got my tablespoon of butter. I want to add some parsley flakes to this here. And then I want to take some of that Spain spices taco seasoning. And I want to add it to the container. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to nuke this baby. I'm going to throw it in the microwave, get it nice and melty. And once it's nice and melty, I want to go ahead and spread it over these here foot long hot dogs. And I'm telling you something right now, it's going to be good. But I don't want you to go nowhere. Tell me what you like on your hot dogs, what ingredients you like on your hot dogs. So stay tuned. Now I got these buns all buttered up and I want to throw them into this here oven. I want to make sure that both sides is going to be nice and toasty. All right, so now what I got is a nice saucepan and I'm dumping in that jar of queso into this here. And I just chopped up me some of these here jalapenos and I just want to throw it on in there. You can use as less as you want or as much as you want. I like a lot in mine because I'm gonna use some Doritos up in this here baby too so it ain't going to waste. Now what I want to do is I want to toast up my hot dogs. So I got it on an, on an iron skillet and I'm just toasting these babies up because I want mine to be all roasted up so when I bite into it I can get that nice crunch and that good flavor coming from it. Now since my now since I got my tater tots all nice and toasty, I want to go ahead and take this here Fiesta cheese and spray that baby all up over those tater tots. I want these babies melted up pretty good and covered nicely. But look at these here y'all, look at these foot long hot dogs, they all roasted up. As you can see right now, she's going to have a nice bite. And look at these here foot long hot dog buns and that queso dip, oh my goodness. But I want to take this here crispy bacon that I went and cooked in the air fryer and I just want to spray Spread these babies right on top of that there tater tots and cheese. And I want to slap it in the oven just until the cheese melts. Don't you go nowhere. Tell me what you would put on your potato tots. Now I got some of this here Spain spices taco seasoning and I just want to spread it right on top because it's going to add more flavor. It's going to give me that zing, that pop, that ooh wee. And I just want to throw it up in the oven just until the cheese melts. Once that cheese melts, she ready to go. Since I got my, ham, my hot dog buns all toasted up, I want to go ahead and stuff these babies with those foot long hot dogs. Do y'all love foot long hot dogs? I do y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I really do. But since I got these babies stuffing up with these here foot long hot dogs, I'm going to go ahead and dress them up. So let's go ahead and do that right now. As you can see, I got these potato tots looking all nice and crispy and delicious. I got one of those foot long hot dogs with some chili on it. Yeah, I went the can route. So you can judge me if you like. It's all good. But I'm taking some of that queso dip, that white queso, and I'm spreading it right on top of one of those hot dogs. Mm -hmm. And then I want to take some of that bacon that we crumbled up and I just want to spread it right on top of that right there. Mm -hmm. And for that other hot dog, OMG, do you really want to do me like this here, Ray? Yes, I do want to do you just like this right here. You can just bite it like it is. But I want to take some of that chili 
and spread that chili right on that dog. And then I want to take some more of that queso, heat it up with some of that there jalapeno peppers and spread it right on top of that dog. And I tell you right now, somebody's about to chow down on some good looking foot long queso chili cheese dogs. Lord, y'all better stop playing with me. But here we go now. Check this one out. Then I want to take some more of that bacon and spread it right on that dog. It's good, y'all. I'm telling you right now, it make you want to just go ahead and pick one up and start eating on it. But as far as it goes with that other dog that had just the chili on it, my wife said, hey, if you putting bacon on yours, put bacon on mine. So I had to go ahead and throw some bacon on hers, y'all. And as you can see, we served this baby up. I'm I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. If this is what you like, please try this here on regular dogs, sausage dogs, Brockworth dogs. I don't care what kind of dog it is. As long as it ain't your dog running around in the yard or in the house, don't do it on that dog because that dog might not like it and you probably might not like it either. But try this here recipe and I guarantee you, you're gonna definitely love it. I promise you that. If you, if you don't like it, then don't come back at me, all right? Because I love it and I try it again. But look here. Tell me what you like on your hot dog, all right? What kind of condiments and what kind of dressings you like on your dog? Because if it sounds good, I just might give it a try. So check this one out. Don't go nowhere. I want to say thank you so much for checking out Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. If y'all could give this video a thumbs up. Also comment on this here video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And check out my Instagram, Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I thank you so much for checking out Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate, love somebody.